Hey guys, welcome back to the Macaverse. I haven't made a video in a while, so today I'm going to show you some cool Mac tips and tricks, whatever you want to call them. I haven't seen these on blogs and videos, but you may have. If you have, that's pretty cool, whatever. So the first thing I would like to show you is how to take a screenshot of just a particular application without doing Command Shift 3, which is the whole desktop, or Command Shift 4, which makes a plus sign and you have to highlight specific application. If you do Command Shift 4, and just highlight all that will do is pick the certain area you wanted but it will cause in your corners of the application uh, the color of your background to appear if you do not like that you can do it this way say I have Firefox open and I just want this much of the iPhone dev center for my screenshot what you would do is command hold down command shift 4 the plus sign for your mouse will appear, then hit the space bar, and the camera icon will appear for your mouse. Uh, you can do the application, the desktop, or even the menu bar, and dock <coughs> if you wanted to. So what you do is click the application or whatever you wanted, and that specific window will appear on your desktop. Make sure you check your desktop for the picture, and it comes out clear without the corners without the background showing in the corner sorry the second thing I would like to show you is say you have this uh, blip sound that comes up when you higher and lower the volume on using your Apple keyboard and if you don't want that the time you're clicking the buttons just hold down shift and go up and down and it the sound does not come up if you'd like to turn that off manually and uh, permanently well, not permanently, you can change it if you want to. But if you'd like to turn that off, you can go to System Preferences, Sound, and uncheck the Play Feedback When Volume is Changed option. Alright, the third thing I would like to show you is, say you want to save a piece of information that you came across while browsing. This only works in Safari, so let's head over to Safari. Say, <coughs> excuse me, I came across this Yahoo article Obama talks to Bill Clinton and I would just what you do is highlight the part of the article you want I just want that so what you do is hold down command shift Y and the Mac automatically creates a sticky note and saves the information to save all you do is click this little box right there and click save I'll save my documents command Q and then the fourth thing I'd like to show you is say I had this Yahoo window opened up and then I had this window opened up and then I had this window opened up and I instead of going like this and switching back and forth what you can do is hit command and tilde that is the uh, button next to the number one and you just do command tilde and you can switch back and forth between each window of the same application. This works with Firefox and all applications that has multiple windows. And that's all for today. I'll probably come up with more tips and tricks for you guys. So subscribe, rate, and comment so more people can see my videos. Share the videos, please. And please come back to the Macaverse. See you.